In this problem, we're trying to find the voltage V using a superposition method. And so first thing you do on superposition method is count up the number of sources you have. And we have independent source over here, another independent source over there. So that tells you that the voltage could be thought of as the voltage resulting from the 15 milliamp source acting alone superimposed by, or added to, the voltage due to the 10 volt source acting alone. So I'm going to begin the problem by finding V15. So let me relabel this voltage V15. So that means I need to find all the other sources and set their values to zero, or disable the sources. So voltage source to zero, could be replaced by a short circuit and tidy up the drawing here a little bit. Let's go ahead and remove that and replace it by a short circuit. At this point then we find V15 using any convenient circuit analysis technique and to simplify things here I'm going to observe that the 2K is in parallel with another 2K resistor leading to a combined resistance of 1K. So let me go ahead and uh, take a time out here and remove that one for you and replace it by an equivalent 1K resistor. Continuing along, we have 4K in series with the 1K resistor. So that gives us an equivalent resistance of 5K. Except here it's important to note that that wouldn't be a good thing to do uh, because if we combined this resistor with this resistor then we would have lost the voltage across this uh, 1k device here so we don't actually want to go ahead and make that substitution as far as finding the voltage is concerned however we can make use of that in order to apply the current divider relationship because we've got 50 milliamps coming in splits two ways and so the uh, path that we're interested in is the one that goes through the, the combined 4K and 1K series combination. So that conductance looks like 1 over 5. I'm leaving the K's off because everything has units of K. And then we divide by that same conductance plus the conductance of the other resistor and multiply that by 15 milliamps. That works out to be 1 sixth times 15 milliamps, which is 2.5 milliamps. So that means we've got 2.5, try to make that look like an M. 2.5 milliamps flowing through the 1K resistor means. V15 is 2.50 volts. So that's the first half. Second half then is to go ahead and find the other voltage V10. I'm going to rebuild the circuit and we'll come back and find V10. Okay, so this is our original circuit. Now we want to find the result of the voltage due only to the 10 volt source. So that's the second half of the problem. So that means set the current source to zero and the circuit way of saying zero current is to replace this by an open circuit. So that part is no longer there. Again, at this point we use whatever circuit analysis comes comes to mind to simplify things. So let me go ahead and note that the 4K was in series with the 1K, so this is now a 5K equivalent resistor there. And we're trying to find V10. This might not be immediately evident, but if you look carefully, you'll notice that the 5K resistor and the 2K resistor are actually 
parallel devices. If you look carefully, you will see that they share the same node on the top, and they share the same node on the bottom. So essentially, the 5K resistor, the combined 2K and 10, ohm and 10 volt source, and the 2K resistor are, are all effectively parallel devices. So we can simplify by combining the 5K with 2K. which is 1.43K, and I'll answer the phone. So now we've got two resistors and a voltage source. These are arranged as a voltage divider. So we have V10 is, again, I'll just drop the K because we've got that common on both. times 10 volts, and that fraction works out to be 0 0.417 times 10, so V10 is 4.17 volts. So, recalling the result from previous step, we had 2.50 volts plus the 4.17, 6.67 volts.